Hello. <laughs> so last week got away from me, but I'm here now. And we're doing a story time uh, vlog update because that is what my series of life is now. Just a series of updates on this channel. Nothing of for wit of anything, but you know, trying our best. <laughs> Favorite mug, uh, I gotta say. It, it's worth it because it's a big update. As I've been saying on this channel for the last couple of weeks that I am heading to school in June and cosmetology school was in my sights. And I say past tense because a few things have changed. Yet the fuck again. So what's changed? Well, <laughs> um, I had a conversation with my husband and my roommate who is like my confidant. And Natalie is amazing. And I will eventually uh, show her on screen if she wants to be shown because uh, that is a consent thing and I rule in consent. Um, so we had a conversation and my husband, who is a fucking gem, while all accounts, while recording this, by the way, we have been 11 months married. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but uh, it did. So there you go. Um, but he will do whatever it is to make me happy. Even if it makes us go into financial straits. He is in the process of trying to look for another job. Or at least thinking of leaving this job. And I'm at still at Torrid making part-time wages. Which we cannot make money on the salary that he has right now. And I'm living on this hope and prayer and a dream of wanting to change my life. I want to do things to better myself. But my husband uh, does not care about himself so much that he'll try to do whatever he can to give me whatever, he, whatever I want. Because that is what he promised when we first got together. Let me be clear. I don't need materialistic shit to make me happy. I love this man so much that he will go to whatever fucking bounds he can to make it work for us. But I don't want that. I would like him to be as happy and as content as he wants as well. So we decided, regardless of my loans being aced for now, um, that we are going to take a year before I go to school. And I had a meeting at, at my cosmetology school anyway last week because we had already planned it and we scheduled it twice and I was going to talk to the dean of students who is Miss Skyler is amazing. I don't know how this human fell into my lap, but she's fantastic. And I sat there and had to explain to her that I cannot enroll just yet because of the life that we're having at the moment. And it broke me on so many levels, and I'll explain why. For one, this August, I will be 40 years old. And that comes with a lot of mental fucking fuckery that most people don't get. I do not have the women in my life, family-wise. I don't have... My grandmother is dead and beyond for, you know, it was time. She was 99. Um, my mom is gone. I don't speak to my biological older sister. And... You know, I don't have people to run to with the situation, with the exception of my roommate. But she cannot be a sounding board for me forever. And if I've learned anything, is that you kind of have to... Your life is your life. And you have to rule it however you see fit. You are only going to make the decisions that are going to affect you. And how you want your life to be. Which is something I should have learned a long time ago. And things my best friend Jimmy has told me for years, but I never listened to because I'm a little dumb dumb. So we pushed it off until the fall of next year. And it broke. I want it so bad. I want to. I want to go to school and learn things and own my own business like my mother did. I've said it ad nauseum because it was the truth and it's what I wanted. Sans cat. <laughs> um, you know, this was a dream of mine. I wanted to change my life and my career because I'm, I'm not happy. 
and truth be told I'm having a harder time adjusting almost two years now here and I've made some friends but nothing of real substance substance with the with the exception of two people I know from one is from originally from back home then knew some of my friends back home and Natalie it's discouraging all I do is go to work and home I don't have friends down here I don't go to karaoke because money is tight and forever trying to fix our financial situation because the economy blows fucking chunks and I I don't know and it's really hard and I'm having a hard time staying positive I'm having a hard time making any content for TikTok, for YouTube, for Twitch, for finding any reasons to make content. And I have had barely the time or energy really or fucking spoons to pick up my guitar. And that is the thing that's most disheartening. That I can't pick up the thing that changed my life irrevocably. That I got to make music, make a record, play shows and... <sighs> The thing that make, gives me the most satisfaction and the most relief about anything I can't fucking do. Because I'm irrevocably sad about my situation. And I feel like there's no out from getting under. I can't afford to go to therapy. Because the last time I had therapy, Starbucks was paying for it. And I have been out of Starbucks for almost a year and a half now. Again. I, the best that we could have done was afford vision care for me because I need glasses. They're coming in soon. I'm going to order them this week and I'm excited about it. Um, but there, but like, I can't, you know, and that's, and that's the problem. And my poor husband feels like he's the problem for my depression. His, his problem is not his problem. I came into the moving down here with a fresh start and wanting to do something good for myself. But I did not understand the emotional wherewithal it was going to give me. Because I had spent almost 40 years of my life, I said almost because I moved at 38, um, you know, I left everyone I knew and everyone I loved who I worked with and made a name for in the industry and came here to no music scene, no culture, not knowing anyone, me feeling like I'm the weirdest one in the room, which usually is a, <laughs> an attribute that most people enjoy and becoming an issue because I'm too loud, too abrasive. Um, too opinionated, which was a shock to my system when I first moved here and worked for an, uh, a company that uh, wanted me to tone down my new New York nature. And I can tell you from personal experience, that was never going to happen. If you think I'm going to shut my mouth because you're uncomfortable, you got nothing coming. If I'm not making customers unhappy, if I'm satisfying customers and I'm showing them professionality, and being honest at the same time, you best fucking believe I ain't changing me. But that's another video for another day. So what happens now? I don't know. And I, I'm i going to work at Torrid as for as long as humanly possible. And, you know, work and do what needs to get done. And, you know, a year will fly by. And it'll change my life. But. I have to. Um, I, I have to do what's right by me. And right by my family. And my husband. And, and the people I make into family. And I am just. I'm just scraping by. I like. And, I, and I'm going to be honest. I haven't been okay since I moved. And I know I've said in videos I felt stable, and I do feel stable, but emotionally, when human beings don't have other people to connect to because we are social creatures by nature, if equivocally, equivocally, 
you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, in the same vein as the great apes, we are social creatures. I know this because I want to study. I studied for years and I wanted to be a primatologist. Um, we share the similarities of chimpanzees and gorillas and certain of the of the great apes because they are social creatures as um, are we as humans. The reason why, and I'll say this to you very carefully, why solitary confinement in prisons is inhuman is because we are social creatures. It can drive a person to madness. If an ape is alone and does not have people to connect to and have that helpfulness and other things to connect, it it's debilitating. Same goes for human beings. If you can't find people to connect with, it it breaks you. And I'm trying, and I'm and I'm talking like this because I'm trying not to cry because I'm it's it's real hard, it's real hard to not. And I understand my humor; it's a sub, uh, a self defense mechanism, and I am aware of it, hyper aware of most of times. I just didn't realize how slow building connections was going to be. And I guess that's because I was introduced to people because of the people I knew back home. So it was easy for me to acclimate and find friends. And I haven't been in a school setting or a show setting in two years. And I see, uh, and I thank God for the friends at home that will always include me vi by video to shows. But it's heartbreaking that I can't be there. I can't hang out and be cool and have fun and do all this stuff. And it's just really hard. I'm just having a really hard time with it. I'm sorry this was not the video of happy-go-luckiness and good news. And trust me, I want this to be more good news than bad. Believe you me. But unfortunately, uh, I don't have good news to spare right now. Uh, hopefully it'll get better. And things will change and I will I will have more of a situation but I don't right now and uh, you just have to wait for cosmetology vlogs next year if you're liking anything I'm making and want to follow me I'm on twitch a deaf bird one uh, and on social media everywhere everywhere you find deaf bird one you'll find me including as to why I changed um quick side note the reason why I changed from deaf chicky 23 to deaf Fred one because it's so easier to find all my social medias here um I, I have two IGs songbird beauty 23 and um and deaf Fred one obviously if you want to find all my stuff there and yeah I also have a discord called the bird house if you guys want to join please let me know um make a comment and uh let me know all right guys thanks for being a part of it and thanks for following along i will see you guys in the next video which um we have a book review finally happening bookworm book club is going to be coming back up because i miss doing that and i've gotten into reading and my husband was the one who made me to get back into reading so it's a oh the eclipse is happening <laughs> i'm filming this on the eclipse so Bye, guys. Thank you.